what's good family? In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how to create trap style hi-hats on the fly using Logic 10. 10.3 is what I'm using. So, so why do you want to do that? So uh, I don't know, if you're like me, I hate to, to go in and draw hi-hats by hand. That's how some of us do it. Some of us use the note repeat function. Uh, that's how I normally do it when I'm using machine. But using machine as a plugin in Logic, I lose that functionality. So uh, there's a workaround for that. This will work uh, with any, any plugin that you use. If you use uh, Drum Designer, Drum Machine Designer, Logic's built-in drum machine, um, you, can, you can apply this same method. Um, so how is it done? So if, you're, if you haven't used Logic's uh, note repeat function, you access it by clicking on the little pull-down button. And you can access access this by pulling this down like that so over here on the on the far left you'll see the note repeat icon you click that this window will pop up and it normally defaults to eighth note so as you can see as if I hit my key eighth notes will repeat so but that's not trap that's not going to get you where you where you want to go so what do you got to do you got to expand this window and some more parameters become available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the mod wheel to control the note value. So I want to click on the mod wheel option and I want to set my minimum and maximum values. So I like to use 64th notes, you might like 128th, just set it how you like it. Uh, my minimum value, I, I normally use 8th notes and so very important, you want to use the uh, click on the triplet value so you will get the in-between triplet notes as well. So as you can see as I move my mod wheel this value will change to uh, the, the appropriate note value. So this takes a little practice but uh, you know I, you get it down you know do a pass or two see how it feels. So let's, let's just try one. So there it is, there's my pass. And you know, I can use that as my baseline. If I want to edit, edit from here, I can, you know, take stuff out, add stuff to it. To me, that's a uh, that that's that's a better way of of of, of recording hi-hats. So, but as you can see, the issue here is that this is a very static performance. All of my notes are the same velocity, so what I could do was I could go in and you know change these and fool around to, to something feels right, or I could uh, use this velocity option to give me a more dynamic performance. So let's just get rid of this. Try it again. So the mod wheel again is going to be used to control the velocity. And again, I go in and, and pick my maximum value and my minimum value and the, the, the further up I push the mod wheel the higher the value is going to be so this will give us somewhat of a of a more of a dy dynamic performance um, not perfect but a pretty pretty cool workaround so let's try a pass one more time and see what, see what happens So as you can see, another pass, but this time we have a little bit more dynamics in the uh, in the hi hat performance. And then we can go and you know fix things, clean things up. like that we just you know erase it and start all over again but um, you know I, li I like to capture performances and this is a good way to do it uh, that's basically how it works so uh, if you found this useful I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you didn't if it sucked give me a thumbs down and if you like the content please subscribe thanks for watching if you don't know now you know